here is Jordan versus Lissom. So, looks like uh, it's changed since I last. I think they were even closer than this last time I've checked. 1377, 1366. We'll see if that is still. You're on your boy's side, Lissom. All right, I already, I already hate Director. I'm not gonna let Director take control anymore. I'm ready to see what Jordan has in store here. Jordan is currently rocking a nice try-hard Octane. Pretty much stock team with those Cristiano wheels. Love it. It's a classic. Obviously, we have the storyline that Lissome has recently switched to a DS4 controller. As he puts it in 3-0 in one minute, our boy Lissome currently off to a hot start. Our inside intel says he's been warming up with Retina, who is top 100. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Is this, is this a little bit high to you guys? It's just a little bit high for me. Three to Lissome. Definitely not too easy or not too late for Jordan to come back, especially not in 1v1s. Anybody who's played more than you know two games in 1v1 knows that 3-0 is nothing, especially with three minutes and 47 seconds left. But so far this game, haven't seen much of a challenge uh, that Jordan has really put on Lissome at all. So it's definitely something of note. A lot of the times in these 1v1 games, you just want to get like any sort of pressure on this on your opponent. And like, just just give yourself some confidence going. Whereas I feel like the ball has spent most of the time in Jordan's half. And uh, I don't think Lissome has had to make a save. Oh, look at that. I'm, s yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought I stopped four saves. But yeah, we're right. This, this is a good attack here by Jordan finally forcing a save from Lissome. Puts a clear on his back wall to try and keep control. This chip across is really not going to do much. Lissome's just trying to make sure he steals boost. Flick from Jordan's able to relieve pressure. And he just forced an own goal. Jordan forcing an own goal on Lissome. Nice flick here. He actually been maintaining boost, even though he got his corner boost stolen. Had enough boost to call us that flick. Lissome just kind of like a panic, trying to get it out of the way. Oh, and oh, Jordan's an ESL monthly elite. Going up to uh, pressure him, getting that first goal. That's really important for Jordan in this long best of seven series we're doing here right here that these two have agreed to do. To get a goal on the board in the first game. I'm the Pengu. What's going on, man? We're watching some top 1v1 players. I'd love for this to make me any better at 1v1. Nice low 50 by... Oh, Jordan's about to set... Oh, no, he's not. What am I doing? Not even close to sending an own goal, but nice low 50 by Lissome. One thing I've noticed um, from a lot of 1v1 players is they're all trying to stay low in these uh, games that I'm watching, but an awesome shot here from Jordan. This is the kind of stuff you'll never see in my kind of games. Nice chip off the wall, getting that flip reset. Saving it till as late as he possibly can. Right, the earlier he takes that that flip, the uh, the easier it's going to be on Lissome to try and react to it. So he's just waiting and waiting and waiting. Wants to see when jo uh, when Lissome's going to make a play. He or she, really. Jordan has had a Y in his name at some point while I've been friends. And a pink banner, so you never know. Just a nice kickoff goal by Lissome. ESL Monthly doesn't mean much in 1v1s. Can you win ESL Monthly just in 1v1s one tap? Or are you just saying because they won at ESL Monthly in like 3v3 it doesn't mean much for their 1v1s. Nice kickoff goal save by Lissome. Your kickoffs have got to be elite in 1v1s. Weak shot there by Jordan. Um, if you're trying to score, if you're trying to win games, I don't want to stick a watching on Jordan too long. You can lose games by 1v1s. Scrub killer, or sorry, by kickoff. Scrub killer, of course, the most famous 1v1 or probably, even though Fairy Peak is the best right now. Got famous off of just winning kickoffs and destroying people in 1v1s. Nice flick move by Jordan here. A little musty flick for style at the end. Just a little pop-up, kind of like a fake going into an air dribble. Let's the ball come down. Lissome kind of panics and thinks I got to get 50 in right now. Just a backflip and Jordan pops it over. Right, Lacey's boy, Jordan. This is awesome, man. I can't believe I found two people whose MMRs look exactly the same. And I hope this is more fun for them. I hope they're feeling some pressure. Super Smokey, what's going on? We're watching some good 1v1ers go at it. 4-3 right now. 
long shot from the cell. I'm pretty sure he's got low boost. But he's going to be able to steal this boost in the corner. Jordan's got to play safe. Playing it on the wall with no boost seems risky, but he's able to steal that corner boost, and that's going to be it for the pressure for Lissome right now. Setting up a dribble shadow defense. This time he's going for the real air dribble, going for that bump afterwards. Not anywhere close. What's going on, man? You got a switch? Switches are so hard to play in. I don't know if you saw my Instagram about getting the top 100 on switch, but it was not worth it. <laughs> yeah. The lag is absolutely real. Hopefully we get invited the next week's monthly. Do you have to get invited to ESL monthlies? I don't know how that works. Seeing as how I'm nowhere close to being able to compete in them. Coming to the last minute here. Jordan Scott is down a goal. Current attack right now. Going for the bump again. Hits it this time and that's a goal. Tie 4-4. These are so crazy. The fact that these have become meta are insane to me. So it goes up for the air dribble. And like pretty much right after he realizes he's not going to be able to get back to it. Just decides to aim for Lissome. Bumps the sum out of the way. Tie it 4-4, 37 seconds left. Oh yeah, you have to be invited. Nice kickoff with my Jordan. Good composure here by this whole game by Jordan. If it was me, I literally would have rage quit after being down 3-0. And not been able to come back. But it's something these guys who've gotten so great at 1v1s are, they're unfazed by it. Ceiling shot here, I was going to say. They kind of set up a ceiling shot here. Nice placement. Holy cow, Jordan. Look at what it's like to defend one of these shots right here. Puts, uses that uh, that flip he gets from hitting a flip reset or getting a, a ceiling shot. To put it such top corner. Lasome actually saves the first shot, but he ends up forcing it in. This is literally, in case you guys don't know, I mean, I think most people who watch these streams probably already know that you get that flip back from touching the ceiling with your four... Wheels, Jordan missing that ceiling shot for the win, but the counter is going to be able to go in. This is 6 4, Jordan. Looks like game one's going to be going to Jordan. Jordan has put an insane pressure on with these ceiling shots. I mean, this one went in just because Lasome knows he's starting to have to respect those. And Jordan crushed it the first two times. Is there a twos for ESL Pangu? I don't know. Kickoff win by Lasome. Still not going to do enough. GG, first game to Jordan, who is our technical favorite by like one MMR. Sounds like Hunter is in Lasome's corner. Let me come here. These two can start up. Uh, I'm about to find maybe a better way to do this in the future, but let's. Jordan. 1 0. Spectate. Yeah, you have 1800s playing in it right now. You have no friends for ESLs for you. Brutal, dude. Sorry. Game two. Lasome made a made a, a change, car change to Dominus. I'm trying to think why he might be making a, a change to Dominus right now. For me, Dominus faster, more aerial control. And look at that. As I say that, it looks like he's going to be able to score this aerial. Yeah. I personally played Dominus for my aerials. We're not gonna be able to see him beat him, but looks like he just beat him in a in a race to the ball at midfield to go up 1-0. These name tags are super annoying in the goal replays. They go over everything. Kickoff win by Jordan. Not gonna be able to get it in. Good boost bet grab by Lasome. Lasome has an opportunity now to take any shot he wants as Jordan retreats. A little chip off the ground is not the kind of shot he probably wants to generate from a wide open opportunity with no pressure. The sum caught flying by the ball, no boost. Definitely a dangerous situation for him here. Jordan's going to be able to 50 it right in. The sum catch himself in a hard spot, trying to go for a pinch off the wall to push that into the corner, but when he doesn't succeed and has no boost, Jordan, with all the boost in the world, is going to make him pay. Lasome faking an aerial here. Wants to keep possession. Doesn't want to just pass it right back over to Jordan. Oh, loses that 50 50 and panic jumps for this one. I'll, I'll skip it for him. I'll skip it for him in case everyone wants to skip it. 
just wins that 50-50. Lasom's trying to start a dribble. Jordan calling him out on it fast. Just takes it away from him. Pushing that 50 away. Jordan taking control again. Another ceiling shot situation. Or setting up an air dribble. Flip reset. Now this should be an easy counter by Lasom. This is the risk you make, you take when you're uh, going for these hard shots like this. Uh, you cannot afford to drop this ball in front of him. You can't afford to hit it softly off of the side wall or anything like that, or it's going to be a counter. But uh, I mean, these made or break, made or braked, made or braked it. How do you say that when you're saying it that way? They were the uh, the bread and butter of Jordan's game last game, so. Definitely don't blame Jordan for going to form again. This should be able to get saved, but the Soam's going to be left a little boost starved. High flick, the Soam just waiting, waiting for Jordan to give him the ball. The Soam stealing that boost away, but Jordan's been doing a good job so far this game and making sure he is never out. He or she, honestly, I'm not sure. Haven't asked. Is never out of boost, and here they are out of boost right now. So the Soam putting on a lot of pressure. Jordan making sure to contradict me. So I'm showing he's got ceiling shots as well. Once again, just fakes it. This tap has to go in. Once again, if you're playing off the ball, luckily, the Soma has left Jordan in a place with no boost, so he can't counter. So that's good pressure. Maybe a calculated risk by Lasom. But normally that's a death sentence, that kind of aerial he went for. When you don't leave yourself boost to recover. Off a back wall hit like that. Nice 50 win. These two playing chicken to see if who's going to go up first. Lasom lets Jordan take it and gets an easy save. Attack now for Jordan. Fake challenge. Or sorry, attack now for Lasom. Fake challenge by Jordan and Lasom reads it perfectly. Look at this. No panic here. Jordan fake turn. Lasom knows it's fake. Isn't falling for it. And on his turnaround puts a flick. Pass him into the goal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lasom 3-2 is in need of a comeback. Starting off the series with a loss. Jordan at the last second is bumping Lasom to stop that goal from going in. Possession now Jordan. No boost though. Lasom's got a bunch. A chip over but not going to be able to counter that in time. In fact Lasom might be able to turn it into a goal. And he will. Tim go 4-2. Who's playing in the next tournament? Uh, honestly I'm just doing 1v1s. So these two aren't part of the tournaments or anything. Uh, but anybody can play in the in the Rocket League tournaments that I have set up. Four two. Two Lasom in game two after dropping game one. Jordan was looking spectacular in game one. Literally insane in his comeback at first. So to be fair, I remember Lasom was leading. The game to start. Another free pass out to uh, to Lasom. Going up on, the, on your opponent's back wall. You better have some serious control of the ball here. But Jordan doesn't. And Lasom just a tap off the wall. In into the goal. Fairly easy. Oh, look at that insult. Boost steal. Insult to injury says, I know I scored on you, but I'm taking your boost too. Minute 40. Oh, Lasom missed the boost. I was like, what? Our first quick chat of the game is for an okay. Lasom just missing the boost off the kickoff. With his camera super high. Thought he had it, didn't have it. Ends up not getting it. Jordan steals it from him. Just gets a little lost staring at the ceiling after missing that boost. Guys, if you want to be good, move your camera before kickoffs. You can flip it back and forth. You can move it side to side. That's all I'm saying. Pattern I've seen. The sum going for the backboard read. Gets a tap, but not in the dangerous enough position that he's scoring. Jordan's... Oh, missed on that flick. Good setup. Nice backflip flick. Uh, the benefits of a backup flick. The sum making sure to take his time to smash this one in. With that lead, there's no reason to rush a goal in. Nice backflip flick. Flip... Flick attempt by Jordan. Benefits of that backflip flick, of course, is that you don't commit to the ball so often in 1v1s, what you're trying to avoid. 
is committing past the ball. Um, it's advice I've given to people I've played against. Of course, I'm not amazing in 1v1s like these guys, but it's advice I've given to people a bunch as Jordan gets a sick save after getting demoed, which is just that in 1v1s, you want to commit to as little as possible. You want to fly past the ball as little as possible. So not overcommitting for the things is definitely the best. So I'm giving over a free pass to Jordan as he sets up a ceiling reset. Sorry, ceiling reset. Goodness, I literally can't say either one of those right. A flip reset. Ceiling shot and flip reset, man. They're two different things. Fear, I should say. The two different things. Air dribble from Lasome. Pretty easily saved. Lasome with low boost, but he did a good enough job with the air dribble that Jordan's not going to be able to instantly counter. I don't think Lasome was going for the demo there, but we'll say he was. He's just trying to pressure Jordan. Jordan trying to put a lot of pressure on up to spawn. Picked up that Hundy. Good clear, but it's not going to be enough as we count down the last 10 seconds. Unless Jordan gets goes behind the three-point line and puts one in for three. That is going to be game two to Lasome. And another one to help end off the game. Look at look at this bar. Look at this bar that's like literally covering everybody. I'm about to find a way to like make sure that doesn't show up in the goal replays. I don't know how. GG, on to game two. I'm going to go change this and then... Uh, Lissom one. All right, now I'll go hit ready. Give these guys a momentary break. Oh, Jordan left the game. Maybe has a change. Maybe he wants a new server. Or maybe just the whole just hit ready first. Uh, I'm gonna assume. That everyone's, well, I'll just ask everyone if, if they're ready again. Hey, King Settle, what's going on? Okay, we'll get another game. King Tuttle, number three, bidder of the month. What's going on? We got a top 200. We're exaggerating a little bit with our top 200. We got a top 200 uh, 1v1 going on right now. And it's a good game. Nothing else we could ask for. It's 1-1. What's going on right now? Oh, they just haven't joined. Sorry, I was like so confused. They can join in whenever they want. I But I think... They know that. Oh, wait, you know what? Jordan's here. No, Jordan's smart because Jordan's here and what's his face is not. What's his face being less home? Yeah. Our buddy is uh, joining us the comeback kid. Oh, he's only down one. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna remake again. Ah, whatever. We're remaking. Uh, that would be devastating if these two couldn't uh, get in the games anymore. Let's see. There's Jordan. Goodness, we can't get Lasome in anymore. Uh, he's going to restart. Uh, Jordan left the match. We can leave too. Uh, I think these guys agreed on best of seven. We'll invite Lissom back in. Let's try this again. US East. Party only. Let's 
So interesting, not hearing music. There we go. We got Lasome in. Who just switched the DS4? I don't know if these two change colors. No, nope, no problem. Just kidding, Lasome was very obviously trying to uh, throw Jordan off after Jordan took, or actually Lasome took game two. So yeah, there's really no reason. <laughs> Lasome not trying to take away momentum from him. Nice shot from midfield. I mean, I think Jordan just ended up handing this over. Let's see what happened here. I definitely missed it. Wasn't paying enough attention, but it seems like Jordan just kind of gave away the ball. Maybe with no boost to challenge. Nice kickoff win by Jordan. 1-1 one, one here. It seems like the game so far have been almost dictated by Jordan in the sense that when Jordan was on in game one, Jordan was on, absolutely destroying. And a lot of the goals from game two resulted in just uh, Jordan missed opportunities, the ones that he was hitting in, in game one. This counter is gonna go in easy for Lasom. Nice shadow defense here. That flick not nearly hard enough. Jordan using every last bit of boost to get it. So I'm able to easily tap it away. Jordan's got style, that's all. <laughs> nice kickoff win by Jordan. Arguably the least stylish kind of thing you can do. <laughs> Just to counter you. But uh, you could easily win games this way. Just nice. This is a crazy pinch kickoff too. Jordan really slamming it. Honestly, I should almost not let one tap Steven be in here when I think about it, because one tap Steven could be watching Jordan and uh, giving info on how much boost he has. Knows when to do the dirty work. I should have asked Jordan if it was okay that one tap Steven was in here, but. I, I mean, the, the chances that he's actually trying to cheat for his boy is probably pretty low. I assume he's just hanging out. Plus, the, the advantage is really not that significant. These guys are good enough that they can kind of just tell how much boost each other have. They don't really need much help. Not very often that they get lost on how much boost the other has. Ooh, that clear and not good enough from Jordan. Why would you think of such a thing? Oh, I don't know. I just remembered I've, I've heard of people not letting friends in before. Or like not letting spectators in before. I don't know why I just thought of it. I honestly did. I really don't expect you to be doing that at all. I believe it. I believe it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever accusing you one tap. I think the biggest thing though is just like if for some reason Jordan had an issue. Like hey man I think you're cheating. Like that's the only, that's the only thing. I honestly do not think you are. So... I don't know, you think we need to run a background check on this guy? Nice flick here by Lasome at the perfect time. Momentum certainly in Lasome's hands. Nice flick. Just waiting for that Jordan challenge. Takes it away going up 4-1, kind of running away with this game. It is never too late to come back, though. As I'll say 60 million times over and over again. Kickoff win by Lasome using that Dominus black card to get that banger flick. And the rebound is in. Jordan's got to stop the bleeding. That is a banger. Much easier to get. With those flat cars. If you ask me. Maybe I have to go to director for... Uh... I don't think that's the case. I don't know how to get those stupid nameplates away from cover covering like the entire screen on those replays. But I'll try going to director. Oh my goodness, Jordan's so close, and it's in. Holy cow, Lissome. Trying to challenge him. Gets there a little too late, destroys Jordan. But Jordan's flick has just enough, just enough to roll in. Make sure you get in that. Slipstream giveaway, guys. Slipstream, literally the best black market decal in the game. Trust me, don't, don't double check that. Lasome getting greedy trying to go to that back corner for uh, Jordan's boost. Did not want to come out away from kickoff with nothing. 
Jordan not quite able to punish him. Nice recovery from a weird flip there. Both these guys loads of boost. Lasom starting a Shadow D. Nice demo. Very important demo with Jordan with low boost off of that. Nice flick. This is this is huge. This demo is like so important. Jordan uses every last bit of his boost to make that flick, and that flick was not strong enough to get past Lasom, but once he gets that demo, then it's all over. Jordan's gonna be able to slam it in. We go back 3-5. You're gonna get off and have a good stream. See you later, King Tuttle. Nice. What happened there? I don't know what to say about that. The sum just not making it to kickoff. I don't know if he was deciding to do a fit. Oh, he just missed the flip. It just looks like he didn't hit X twice. Blame that new DS4. Just like that, 4-5. And Jordan is back. This is why you can never count yourself out. Another kickoff win for Jordan. It means Jordan's going to be putting pressure on again. Nice, close. Ooh, not able to finish it. But nice close post uh, chip shot. Whenever you have somebody who's defending and they're shadowing and they're pointing, uh, you know, like they're going to be shadowing on one side of the net, pointing their car to the other side, the most awkward place for them to save is right above them or right behind them because they can't boost that way. Whichever way you can boost in Rocket League is the easy way to save things. The so I'm waiting super long, making sure not to uh, slam that ball early and give it over to Jordan. So when you see someone doing that shadow D, Jordan did a good. Uh, Jordan did that very well on his last attack. This time, Lasom, seeing an opportunity, doesn't need to worry about the fact that he could put it over behind Jordan because Jordan is not protecting that far side. Of course, certain situations, if you could tell, you can just get in that top left corner. They're not going to be able to get there. Then take it. But whenever it feels like that goalie is guarding the whole net, the most awkward spot for them to save it is right at them, right above them, right slightly behind them. And you'll see these guys take an opportunity to do that. Uh, whenever they don't have an opportunity to just bang it home, straighten the goal like Lasom just did. 6-4 Lasom, no boost. Jordan's going to let him get his boost back, though. Lasom, making sure not to let Jordan feel comfortable for a single second. Jordan has the ball. Lasom, make sure to close the distance and just wait. Wait, wait, wait. And Jordan, expecting challenges, kept hitting the ball over and over and over again. Because all it was going to take was one one early challenge by Lasom, And that hit would have put it over him. Jordan, picking a good time to challenge after letting Lasom have the ball. This bounce back, coming right back towards his net. Chip off the wall. Should be able to get stopped. Nice pinch. This means Jordan's got a good chance of scoring. This ball rolls off cleanly off the wall. Gonna be a nice finish here. Great play by Jordan. Pinching that challenge. Getting the goal in. Oh, baby is right. Lasson missed that additional flick on his ball. Jordan's sitting with boost, making sure not to use his boost in important times. 10 seconds left, Lasson maybe just trying to waste time here, puts the ball in the corner. Saving up his boost and with possession, Jordan's going to have to make a miracle happen. He's not going to be able to with that hit. And it's going to go to 2-1 Lasson. Hype, spoot hype. Loving that spoot hype already after I fix this for them. Lasson. After dropping game one, I believe it was, to a comeback from Jordan, has now won the last two. Trying to keep control. Waiting on one type Steven to ready up now, but he did. 2 1 Lasome. Number one victory royale. Jordan going to be looking to get off to an early start, I'm sure, this game. Otherwise, going to be forced to be put on match point. 
Lasso and probably in the building feeling himself. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. He's going to do it for the Bay. Nice 50 win by Jordan and with Lasome, who is being a little bit dangerous with his no boost. Could not afford to uh, completely lose this 50-50. He tried to stay low and on the ground in order to be able to recover from a lost 50-50, but he just lost it too hard. No way he was coming back after that. Jordan making sure to stay on this ball off the kickoff, even though he has no boost. This is something that people do wrong all the time. Notice how even though he has no boost, he's not running over to the sidewall. He's keeping the pressure on because his kickoff was good. Lasom had to get a panic hit to put it in the corner, and then Jordan's able to finish it off. Jordan kickoff elite. Yeah, Jordan is certainly winning the kickoff game here as Lasom gets a nice one in a flick. That is going to score it in because there's nothing like the caster curse. Um, didn't, didn't think I had been casting long enough to give the caster curse, but look at that. It only takes one game, and you can give the caster curse. So I'm with that late kickoff. I'm pretty sure that's intentional. Got to the ball there late. Doing a little bit of a cheeky kickoff, and looks like now he's going to get paid. He's going to pay for it. You you can't do one of those kicky, cheeky kickoffs and not finish here. So I'm pretty sure the Soam came to kickoff and just stopped last second so that Jordan would smack it into him and he could hit it across. And then uh, with his low boost, tried to go finish his cheeky play and hit it off the back wall. And Jordan ends up scoring on his cheeky kickoff. You don't get a lot of those each game. You know, the 1v1s I've watched, the super high level 1v1s, I don't know if I've seen any of them. But some of this, like, I've watched a few, like, Grand Champ or Lower Grand Champ level uh, 1v1s. I've certainly seen the cheeky stuff come out, but it doesn't come out more than once. So we'll see if they go for like a delay kickoff or like a something like that ever again. Jordan 3-1. I'm glad this series is so good. This is going to be dangerous for Lasome. This is once again one of those situations where if you're going to use all your boost and go for a double tap, go for an aerial shot, go for a uh, ceiling shot, flip reset, anything like that in 1v1s. You, you can afford to miss, but you have better made it so hard for them to save that it's going to take them a long time to counter you. If you if you drop it on a platter for them after that, that's no good. So even that one, right? That that was an aerial that the shot was hard enough that Jordan couldn't just slap it instantly to the goal. Nice bump here by Jordan. So I'm playing good D. Jordan, after this bounce shot, starts looking for Lasome. He's not trying to hit the ball again. He's just trying to smack Lasome. Does a good job of that. 5-1. Goodness, the swing. So this series is insane. Couldn't have asked for a better first matchup between these two. The Soam chipping it down to Jordan. Using up a lot of boost to flip last second at this. Jordan making sure not to leave the ball. Currently in a dangerous spot, having gone for that challenge with no boost. But that should be enough to relieve the pressure. The Soam needed a score on that attempt. Making sure to keep taking that boost. If you ever have a chance to starve your guy, look at that. Taking that corner boost again. Lasome's going to be looking to keep doing this. Jordan. Able to push it all the way downfield, but still no boost. Nice low 50-50, and that's going to be enough to get Jordan boost. And maybe even ball control. Lasome doing a good job fake challenging. Getting Jordan to do these flicks that are giving him no help. Nice flick up and the, and the boost. The boost starvation game has now flip-flopped. Good 50 by Lasome. Lasome has been able to read these dribbles pretty well from Jordan. When Jordan's coming in off the uh, off the ceiling or off aerials or uh, like bouncing dribbles, that's when he's been able to score. That's when he's been doing a really good job. But whenever he's doing on-car dribbles or very low dribbles, I feel like Lasome has been able to kind of snipe those away from him pretty easy with his Shadow D. Ooh, big kickoff miss by Lasome. That could have been a kickoff goal. That's the kind of stuff you cannot afford to lose when you're trying to make back a deficit. Nice aerial style once again. Looks like he's going for the bump. And he didn't get the bump, but he might as well have. Guys, these guys can save these a 10 times out of 10 if he's not afraid of that bump. Look, look at how he avoided Jordan. That might as well be a bump goal. <laughs> 
What's going on, Agent Killer? Nice fake kickoff by Jordan Sieg. Read by Lasom. I literally never read a fake kickoff like that in my entire life. Jordan is now going to think twice about doing these fake kickoffs. Look at this read. How can he read that? I don't understand that. But whatever. He's better than me. <laughs> For a good reason. And then nice flick to the top right corner. Right. Right. You know how I was talking about with the hardest plots to save? He literally put it right to the top right corner of behind Jordan. Where he cannot use his boost to go save it for him. So literally perfect execution by Lasome and Jordan erases it. Erases it with a regular kickoff goal. A more standard kickoff goal. Just winning that 50-50 and putting your car in a better position to hit a nice long shot. I, li I literally heard a hit for Lasome on that ball. It made the hit sound, even though it didn't get registered. Is Jordan the GOAT? Some may, some may say yes. Jordan, when facing deficits, is the best. But someone's going to be able to easily tap this in off this demo. Jordan's just sitting here low boost. Not a lot he can do. He needs to save that 16 boost for when he hits the ball. Lasome knows that. So he just goes and rams him, kills him. What rank? These guys are top 200. These are both grand champ. It's time to have that conversation now. <laughs> Lasome fake challenge, red by Jordan. But the difference between me and Lasome is he knows to fake challenge in that corner instead of actually challenge. Which is what lost me both my 1v1s today. But who cares about me? Nice long shot by Lasome. Good last second save by Jordan, but once again, pressure's on. Low boost situation for Jordan. That chip's not going to do it, and this might actually relieve enough pressure. Jordan probably looking to pick up pads. Another Hundo Steel. And once again, Jordan's going to be able to get out of a tough situation with no boost. Lasome's keeping these starves up, but... Doesn't seem to be always capitalizing on them. He might be capitalizing on, on them a good enough rate, though. I'm not sure. But it seems like they should be more dangerous than they really are. Seeming nice fake aerial here by Lissom. Can't stress enough that this is truly a fake aerial, guys. This is a missed aerial in our ranks, but not for this guy. He intentionally slowed down. Jordan falling for it. Flies up as if a real shot was coming. One minute, two goals for Lasome to put himself on match point. Or to put himself into overtime to potentially get to match point. This is a weak flick here by Jordan, but forces to save. Nice backflip. Another save again. Going to keep the pressure on. Another 50 win by Lasome. This is probably going to reset now. Look at Jordan staying up. No boost situation right now. Trying to keep this pressure on. Lucelle has all the boosts in the world. Looks like Jordan's finally going to leave. Did a good enough job. Didn't let Lucelle get whatever he wanted. This flick going straight in the air. Nice chip here. Jordan's challenge is just slightly mistimed. Comes in here for a fake challenge. Doesn't fall for it. Lucelle, high boost or high flick. And Jordan just not in the right spot to go contest that flick. Has to wait and let Jordan hit it again. 6-7. Jordan, 20 seconds to score here to tie it up and send it into overtime and Jordan the kickoff killer the kickoff killer puts it maybe out of reach here Lasome's gonna have to do the same thing Jordan just did twice in a row now if he wants to take it to match point otherwise Jordan will be tying it up Lasome doing this again where he's going deep into Jordan's corner to get boost at this time at this point he's just taking risks but uh Jordan easily able to make him pay for it. Since you're going to go grab my boost, that's fine. I'm going to go grab my three-point lead. But hard to blame Lasome. In this close game, just trying to do whatever he can. Nice kickoff win. Doesn't matter even if he taps this in. I don't think he's getting the next two in fast enough time. Jordan going for a style. Oh, nice style to make a 10-6. In game number four. Goodness, dude. This is why I said best of seven, man. These guys these guys are going to go down to the wire. Nice tornado. Nice flick there. GG to both of these guys. Let's get his celebration in before I go update the score. He has earned it. Alrighty. Jordan. 2-2. Against Lasome. Goodness gracious. 
our boy, uh, the sums boy has, uh, has DC'd and Jordan won. Coincidence? Coincidence, guys? Or any comp- conspiracies starting? The guy we accused for cheating for Lasome leaves and Jordan wins. Just kidding, obviously, everyone. Obviously, 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 there, there's just no way that that's what was going on. Yo, your top one million Asian kill? Let's go, dude. We get some top one millions games going in. No doubt. I don't know if you actually checked if you're a top one million, but there's a chance that that's accurate. I don't really know. Jordan, nice long shot here. Lasom kind of set him up. After his attack on this back wall, he kind of started to dribble it away. He didn't want to give uh, Jordan possession, but I think he ended up setting him up a lot better than if he had just let that ball roll to the wall. Uh, he was just afraid of of giving Lasom or giving Jordan control after a. Uh, after a backboard hit, because those are the killers. A backboard hit where you're not scoring are the killers in 1v1s. Nice aerial 50-50 save by Jordan. At the top of the net there. Let's the ball get past him, but he's gonna be able to collect boost. Oh, misses the boost there. I'm sure Lasome noticed that. Jordan very obviously had a boost. Look, Lasome making sure he grabs every, every hundo he sees. Just waiting for an opportunity. That Jordan's not going to be able to save. Nice 50 here. Lasom has a chance to score. Perfect situation. Jordan not trying to leave the ball here. Because he knows he has no boost. And he knows if he leaves, he's going to let Lasom do whatever he wants. Tries to do his best challenging with none. But loses that 50-50. And if you lose that 50-50 and you have way less boost, you're going to get scored on. Sounds like we need an age and killer show match. Gotta go. Alright, see you later, Agent Killer. Nice chip off the backboard to set Jordan's stuff up, but Lasom with a nice save. Jordan keeping that pressure on. Definitely seems to be more comfortable of the two with low boost. Just not afraid to leave the ball. Even though he doesn't have much. Doggy Xander, top 3.4% in solos. Yeah, that's definitely a better way to, to put it. Always makes it sound better. Another 50 win by the home. Most likely going to lead to another goal here. Jordan just coming to challenge these flicks. And getting there just a little bit too late. Ends up just sending the ball straight high in the air. The going to be able to easily score off that. 2-1 Lasome. Who recently switched to the DS4? Which the pros are now seem to be unanimously agreeing is the better controller. I think just because it's more durable than the Xbox controllers. Nice play here by the Sum, not to play too early. And easy finish here. As he jumps off the wall, notice he's not smashing the ball. If, if Jordan's not going to come challenge him, he's not going to hit the ball to him. There's no reason. So he waits on those challenges, waits on those flicks, make sure not to push the ball until he's tricked Jordan in to come in and to contest. And here's where Jordan has been absolutely deadly. Lasom doing the right thing of countering these uh, crazy ceiling shots and flip resets by attacking them early. Uh, if you can realize they're happening and attack them early before they have an opportunity to like set them up and, and get get that like dual threat um, situation going, that's better. What I say when I mean dual threat situation is that's what the, the flip reset is all about, right? Because if you let somebody get their flip reset lined up during the game, and you're sitting on the ground, you, you pretty much can't challenge. They're in full control. If you wait, then they'll just wait to the last second, flip it. If you if you jump right away to line it up, they'll just flip right then. They're just gonna flip anytime they see you challenge and they're gonna beat you. So you're kind of stuck. And uh, as we've seen in this game, it's led to people just kind of holding on to their flip until the last second and scoring. So that's that dual threat situation as Lissom just hit, misses an arrow off the backboard and Jordan counters it. Possibly the worst bounce. Guess I wasn't too focused on that. Unfortunate for Lissome. 
But anyways, that's why Lissome's going up high and challenging those early. The reason why he probably didn't do that for in the beginning of the game is because he doesn't know Jordan how well Jordan can hit those. I mean, maybe at Grand Champ, all these guys are hitting these all the time. But I know when I'm doing them, I'm not I'm, until they prove they can really get them with get me with them. I'm not gonna give them too much credit. Let's tell him in a panic situation, having to flip back. Jordan just makes it easy on himself and demos him to tie it up 3-3. It's a kickoff win by Jordan. He's going to get boost and ball control now. Fake challenge by Lasome. Air dribble set up by Jordan. Going again for the bump, but this time not really an angle for the bump. With the wall almost protecting uh, Lasome since he, was, he never really had to hang out in front of the goal very long. Kind of a last second save. Jordan set up that, setting up that low dribble that Lasome has done such a good job at countering this game. I don't know if Jordan needs to start thinking about not doing those. So only donations go to the winner. Uh, bits right now are going to go to me, uh, but donations go to the winner of the series. Lasome proving he can counter pretty much every low dribble by Jordan. I wonder if Jordan needs to start thinking about switching those up and just trying to do bounce dribbles or trying to set up aerial dribbles or it seems like he's had almost more success with with anything but those low dribbles with some good pressure out the kickoffs gonna put it up to 5-3 at the end of this game here with 37 seconds left if you do think plan on donating I would very very much appreciate it if you did donate to the prize pool because honestly, that's just, I really want to encourage these guys and just anybody who comes to play on the stream, especially in these show matches, to have fun with them and enjoy their experience. So I definitely like the idea of, uh, you know, just giving them something to play for and making sure they have fun doing this stuff because they really don't have to. The Soam just left the party mid aerial. Don't know how he did that. But once again, this aerial not threatening enough, and Jordan is going to be able to counter it. That's kind of a scary move by Lasome. Going for a pretty risky aerial. I think he went for the flip reset during that. And Jordan's able to counter it, and with Jordan being a kickoff monster, there, this 8 seconds is certainly long enough. We'll see if Lasome plays it special at all. No, he goes for a regular kickoff. Interesting move, especially in a diagonal kickoff like that. Sometimes people will fake it, and just uh, Jordan's going to be able to keep this up. Fake it just in a way that I cheekily get them to miss. That'll do it though. Lissome, nice tap away. Three, two, Lissome, Jordan. Can Jordan come back? Lissome on game point. Goodness, these games are good. I I like it. Let's bump Lissome up to three. And head back in and I'll hit ready. Spectate. So close to hitting auto. Don't want to hit auto. We got a color change between Lisso and Jordan. Just so everybody knows, we got Jordan in the red now, Lisso in the blue. But it's kind of about easy to tell with a Dominus Octane matchup. Is the key to victory having an orange car? This is going to be an easy demo from Lisso, but he actually ended up tapping the ball away. I don't think he's going to have any trouble finishing it. No, he will not. Easy tap in. Off the demo from the song. Nice. Did I do that? Yes, you did, doggy. Thanks, doggy. Adding a dollar to the prize pool for the song or Jordan, depending on who wins. Thank you, doggy. Appreciate that big time, man. First donation to a prize pool. Greatly appreciate it. Nice shot here by Jordan tying it up. 1-1. One, one. Lissome in a low boost situation. Trying to drive wide to pick up that pad. Trying to pick up that wide pad so when he's in goal he has a chance to save it. But Jordan doing a good job of instantly punishing for that. Noticing that going for that wide pad was a little bit too wide. Counting him right away. Jordan kickoff goal coming in here. Hot. The bread and butter of Jordan. Kickoff goals and amazing, awesome aerial. Stylish goals. 
can be a fan favorite. Normally fans like to whine and complain over kickoff goals, but you can't whine and complain when Jordan's also doing crazy ceiling shots and flip resets. Jordan trying to make sure Lasom doesn't have a chance to do whatever he wants. Trying to keep that pressure in on him. Uh, after, after you give him a lot of space. Decided that you want to quick challenge him. Lasom read it. What you want to do during these games is mix in those quick challenges versus those uh, those fake challenges, right? That we've seen a lot in this game. I want to say most of, most of the time these guys have been fake challenging or just challenging late. Not often have they rushed. Lasom, though, this time able to pretty much instantly read that Jordan was going for a quick rush there. Maybe next time Jordan mixes in a fake or a, or I don't know, this is like a game of chess. He could just keep keep doing the, those same rushes, thinking that Lasome's going to counter on him. Nice last second save there by Lasome. To stop that goal from Jordan, Jordan's just going to push it back to his side, reset, grab boost and ball. Lasome shutting up his dribble defense here. Has probably started to notice that he's not really afraid of the carry ball by Jordan. Jordan mixing it up, going for that air dribble that I'm talking about he should do. That last second save by Lasome. I think I like that from Jordan, just because, ooh, as he gets scored on, maybe he shouldn't listen to me. That one didn't go as well, but I want to say his last low dribbles have also been getting stopped. By Lasome, just not quite dangerous enough of, a, of an aerial shot. A little bit too easy to counter on. Lasome's going to push over into the corner so he doesn't instantly get scored on. But Jordan is able to get the boost. Jordan tapping it high. Looking like he's going to try and carry it away. But does not carry it away well enough. Ends up losing the air dribble right in front of his net. The worst place to lose it. As he tries to carry it away all the way to the side. Lasome making sure to keep the pressure on. 4-2. Three minutes left. Is Lasome going to end it? 4-2, or will Jordan force game seven? We'll find out. Jordan setting up these air dribbles. Going for another aerial bump. He's insane! Jordan is insane! This has got to be so frustrating from the Somme. Setting up these air dribbles, and then just aims for the Somme. He knows exactly where he needs to go to save it. And crushes him away. Jordan making it a one-goal game again with these crazy aerial bumps. The air seems to be currently owned by Jordan and the ground owned by Lasome. Nice chip and shoot by Jordan, or sorry, by Lasome. Or sorry, it was Jordan, a nice bump there to make sure to secure the goal. Or sorry, not bump, demo. 4-4, four, four. I like, I like it. Jordan and Lasome back and forth epic matchup gotta say I'm, I'm rooting for Jordan now hoping for that game seven eleven dollar matchup thanks to doggy Xander appreciate that addition so much man and I know these guys do too Jordan setting up a low dribble will he be able to stop the pattern of losing them to Lasome I would say that putting himself in a low boost situation deep in the corner is not the definition of being able to change the script on those. But he does seem like he's going to be able to stop the counterattack this time. Jordan doing some weird fake aerials. He's able to get Lazome to fully retreat. But kind of loses the ball on the back wall. Once the ball's rolling on the back wall there, not a lot of things he can do to chip out the ball and also still shoot himself. Nice challenge there by Jordan. That's Lazome's about to have a long shot. But with the ball just hanging up on the wall here, notice how Jordan, he doesn't really have a shot. You know, he might dribble it, he might try and keep possession and set something else up. But once it's glued to that back wall, you're not really shooting. In twos and threes, you can pass to somebody else, but in ones, you're a little stuck. These guys have been knotted at 4-4 for what feels like at least a few minutes now. Jordan able to save that flick by Lasome. Lasome missed challenge, but smacks Jordan. 
to the other side of the country. Which makes up for it. Misplay here by the Soma on the goal line. Jordan's going to be able to capitalize on it to go up 5-4. Lasom just looking to clear this ball right here. A little chip by Jordan. Just puts it in a weird enough spot that Lasom thinks he's flipping off the wall to hit it, but does not hit it. Goes up 5-4. Let's see how Jordan plays with that one goal lead, 30 seconds. Doing a lot of fake challenges. You really, you're really in the driver's seat when you have that extra goal. Can't stress enough that this, this goal was scored by being in the driver's seat here. Notice how Jordan played it slow, didn't attack it early, no reason to try and score, he's got all day. The Soam knows he needs to put that pressure on, he can't afford to just let Jordan walk it back in all those 30 seconds. And that's what baited the into making that early challenge. And Jordan's able to just long shot it over him to make it two goals. And pretty much secure the game seven. The Soam's gonna have to smack in a long shot right now and then hit in a quick kickoff goal. And with that save, that'll be it. Game seven. Lasome versus Jordan. This is awesome, guys. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> Are you guys having fun? This is fun for me, man. I was I was worried if like not a lot of people came to watch, so maybe I wouldn't enjoy it, but this is great, man. I'll take this over me playing. Alright, let me go update this. These games are good. These games are good. Alright, game seven. Lesome Jordan. Humongous $11 prize pool. One quick chat all game. That wasn't GG. Game seven, the hype is real. The viewership exploding, all clamoring to see how Lasome and Jordan do. I wonder what the what the stats are on first goal win. Game seven, baby. Couldn't couldn't ask for anything better. These guys were literally the exact same MMR, so it doesn't surprise me too much. Jordan for the win. Both of my brothers are Jordan for the win, guys. Retina's got Lasome. Having done warm-ups with Lasome before the, the the show match. Jordan, easy win. Appreciate how it's like me and them in chat right now. Lasome. Almost had an opportunity to score the first goal of game seven. We'll see if these guys end up playing this more tentative. I feel like this has already maybe been the longest before the first goal has gone in. Both of them know we've come to the end of the series. Notice Lasom not going to smack the ball in front of his own net. Lasom's win these. I like it. Top corner for Lasom. Crazy. Last second save by Jordan. I was about to say that was for sure the first goal of the game. Jordan, no boost, able to get up, uses Lasome to clear the ball this time. I think both these guys are not chilling with a lot. Jordan able to get 100, but demoed. This ball rolling in a dangerous enough spot, or like, sorry, in a weird enough spot that I don't think he's going to be able to instantly score off this. Jordan, quick challenge, ends up faking it though. Lasome loses the ball at the top of his car, which is the most dangerous position to have. And once you do that, you just become two dimensional instead of three dimensional. Makes that challenge really easy for Jordan. Because that ball is no longer coming into the air after that. Looks like a weak flick here by Lasome is going to lead to a Jordan. 1-0 lead. Uh, not flick. It was a hit off the wall. Weak, weak hit off the wall. Remember, guys. Any of those hits you're doing off wall. Off ceiling. Ah, uh, just aerials at all. Oh, musty flick. Lasome is going for. Going for the absolute style in game seven. Any of those risky plays, you're going to have to get the ball in a tough spot that you can't get instantly countered. You can go for him, but you better be hitting them. And Lasome, for this first goal, just does not hit it well enough. Jordan's able to easily counter. Lasome's stuck in the corner here. Jordan, though, not coming in with him. Knows there's not a lot of great things he can get out of it. Lasome needs to take that boost from him. I was about to say, decides not to do the challenge. Nice! 360 flick by Lasome. Or sorry, but Jordan, holy cow, I keep getting their names wrong. This is insane. I guess this is a 180 flick. Check this out. Oh, it's like a 90. Holy cow. Our boy Jordan has the style, no doubt. 90 degree flick. Punishes Lasome. Can't believe this is the first time he's pulled out the 90 degree flick. All game, saving the best for game seven last. 
lost 50-50 and a flyby challenge means the Soam has an opportunity to potentially score. But tries to go for a chip onto the ground and then a, a late hit. Oh! A little, maybe a little bit of a choke by the Soam here. After his missed aerial chip trying to get to himself. Oh, you know what? No, he didn't have the boost there. I take that back. Incorrect. Just a quick challenge by Jordan. That's set up by the Soam. Not good enough for himself. Jordan commanding 3-0 lead. That tap, though. It's going to give the Soam a dangerous challenge here. Nice way to make Jordan change his shadow. That's what he did there. Jordan's coming in, you know, left to right. Nice long shot by the Soma to punish after that demo. Um, going left to right, the uh, makes sure to take the ball, carry it the other way, make Jordan flip the field again. Making those guys flip the field back and forth is a good way to get closer to that goal without them stopping you. Nice kickoff win by the Soma. 2 3. Two minutes left. Certainly is not over. But we can't say that enough, right? I've already said that a kajillion times. Nice 50 here by Lasom. Deep in his own half is going to lead to 3 3. And just like that, what seemed like a dominating game seven from Jordan is all of a sudden equalized by Lasom. Nice chip off the wall, something that hurt him earlier this time. Soft, make sure to hit it up himself. Little bit, oh baby, what's going on? We got an $11 show match right now. Game seven, Lissome Jordan, 3-3, three, three, minute 30 left. Does it get better than this? No, it does not. Jordan, trying to take a long shot here. Maybe getting a little nervous. Had He had a lot of boost there. Seems a little unorthodox for our board, Jordan. Lissome taking a dangerous second hit. That flick was too far away and he should have known it. He was not going to be able to follow up that flick after he hit it way too far away from himself. Jordan, easy counter. With that late challenge by Lasom. The flick wasn't the end of the world, but he had to recognize that he was not going to be able to get there after he got rid of it. But desperate to get it past Jordan, he went for it and Jordan easily countered him. Jordan, good pressure here after his missed attempt. Making sure there's not a quick counter. Fake here by the Soam. Late flip. Was a good attempt. Almost caught Jordan off, but Jordan too good. Responds to make it a two-point lead. Nice play by, Lisa, or by Jordan. Making sure not to commit too hard on that immediate jump in aerial, right? Something that a lot of people would do. He knows to wait. The Soam delays his, flick, uh, his, his flip on that aerial and... Jordan is still able to read it and counter it afterwards. Weak touch by the Soam. Jordan seems like he's no longer in any rush with that two goal lead. He has no reason to desperately give the ball back to the Soam, but it seems like he's punished for that right here. Not grabbing boost, playing maybe a little bit too slow. The Soam ends up grabbing boost and chipping it right over him. 16 seconds left. The kickoff god is going to need to kick off well in order to keep his one goal lead with 16 seconds left. Is Lasome going to pull out a cheese? This is the time to do it. Nope. Goes for a regular kickoff. And the kickoff guy putting the pressure on. Takes that hundo boost. Going to make it really hard for a counter to happen in 8 seconds. Jordan pushing it off into the corner. And smacking it out. That will be it. Lasome's demo is not going to be enough. 5-4 Jordan with the win. Holy cow.